National Geographic Kids Mummies by Elizabeth Carney Whoa, mummy! A farmer is working in swampy land. His shovel hits something hard. He uncovers a blackened body. It has hair, teeth, even fingerprints. The farmer calls the police. It looks like the person died recently, but the body is over 2,000 years old. It's a mummy. The grovel man found in a swampy bog. Mummy making. When something dies, it decays. Insects, wild animals, and bacteria eat parts of the body. A mummy is a dead body that doesn't decay. A mummy can be made in two ways. People can use bacteria-killing chemicals to make mummies. Or, if a body is in the right place at the right time, it can also become a mummy naturally. In those places, any dead body might become a mummy. Wood wrap, bacteria, tiny living things that can only be seen through a microscope. Decay, to rot or break down. Natural mummies. A bog mummy known as the Lindo Man. Body eating bacteria do not grow well in places that are very cold, or in places that are hot and dry, or in places called bogs. People have found mummies on frosty mountain tops and in hot deserts. Bogs are wet, swamp like places. Bog mummies can be so well kept that scientists could tell one ancient man used hair gel. Word wrap Bogs. Swampy areas where special mosses grow. The plants make the area a tough place for bacteria to live. Question. What do you call a mummy who eats cookies in bed? Answer. A crumby mummy. The man's face looks like he's sleeping, but he didn't die peacefully. This bog mummy in Denmark was found with a rope around his neck. Experts think the man was killed as part of a religious ceremony. The bits of his last meal, vegetable soup eaten 2,300 years ago, are still in his stomach. Toland Man Utsi Man In 1991, two hikers found a man frozen in the mountains between Italy and Austria. A 5,300-year-old murder mystery. The mummy, nicknamed Utsi, is one of the oldest mummies ever found. He wears a cape and leather shoes. But when scientists took a closer look at Ozzi's body, they found a surprise. A stone arrowhead was stuck in his shoulder. Ozzi had been shot in the back. Who killed Ozzi over 5,000 years ago and why? So far, the case has gone cold. Ozzi, as he might have looked. Man-made mummies For thousands of years, people have made mummies. Many cultures believed that a person's spirit lives on after death. They thought spirits might need things in the next life. That's why mummies were sometimes buried with weapons, jewelry, food, or even mummies or favorite pets. Different cultures had their own ways of making mummies. Some dried the bodies with sand or smoke. Others used chemicals to preserve bodies. Word wrap. Culture. A group of people who share beliefs and customs. Question. Why did the mummy call a doctor? Answer, because he was coughing. The first people to make mummies may have been the Chinchoros. Their mummies are 7,000 years old. They're the oldest man-made mummies ever found. The Chinchoros mummified everyone who died, from babies to the oldest adults. They covered their mummies' faces with clay masks. Then the mummies were painted to make them black and shiny. The culture disappeared around 3,000 years ago. These strange mummies were all that was left behind. Word wrap, mummify, to treat a dead body so that it doesn't break down. How to make a mummy. One, workers remove organs such as the lungs and liver. Two, mummy makers take out the brain through the nose with a large hook. Three, Workers wash the body and cover it with salts. 4. The body is left to dry for 40 days. 5. Workers rub scented oils on the mummy. 6. Workers wrap the mummy in linen. 
tomb of treasures. Ancient Egyptians made millions of mummies. In 1922, a scientist named Howard Carter found a special mummy in Egypt. Carter peeked into a dark tomb and was struck with amazement. Gold sparkled everywhere. Carter had found the tomb of Tutankhamun, known as King Tut. He died over 3,300 years ago. He was only 18 years old. But the young king was buried with priceless treasures. Tut's tomb made him the most famous mummy in the world. Wood wrap, tomb, a grave room or building for holding a dead body. A mummy's curse, Howard Carter in the tomb of King Tutankhamun. After the discovery of King Tut's tomb, people everywhere wanted to know more about the boy king. But not everything reported about Tut was true. Shortly after the tomb was opened, one of Tut's discoverers died. Some people said that the boy king put a curse on the tomb. Animal Wraps Ancient Egyptians didn't just make human mummies. They made many animal mummies too. Favorite pets were sometimes mummified and buried with their owners. Egyptians thought cats were very special. Sometimes when a cat died, the whole family would mourn its death. Egyptians also made mummies of dogs, crocodiles, monkeys, and birds. These animals were believed to please the gods. More, to feel or express sorrow or grief. Lovely Lady Mummy Over 2,000 years ago, a wealthy Chinese woman known as Lady Dai died. Her body was treated with salt. Salt takes water out of the body, which helps to keep it from rotting. The body was wrapped in 20 layers of silk. Lady Dai was put into a nest of six beautifully painted coffins. Workers buried her at the bottom of a tunnel dug deep in the ground. The tomb was shut tight with clay and mud. Workmen found Lady Dai in 1972. Her body was in such good shape that her skin and hair were still soft. Lady Dai may have looked like this. Question. Why are mummies good at keeping secrets? Answer: They keep things under wraps. Mummies today. Mummy making is not just a thing of the ancient past. Some famous people have been mummified since then. English thinker Jeremy Bentham died in 1832. He wanted his body to be used for science. Students took out his insides, they mummified his head. Then they dressed his skeleton in clothes. You can still go see him in England. Secrets Unwrapped Mummies can't talk, but they can still tell us many secrets about the past. Scientists study everything in and around a mummy's body. Food left in a mummy's stomach tells about what people ate. Broken bones tell about a person's life and sometimes about his or her death. Scientists can also examine a mummy's clothes and the objects buried with it. All hold clues to people's religions and ways of life. In a way, mummies are like time machines. They give us a peek into the past. Decay, to rot or break down. Bacteria, tiny living things that can only be seen through a microscope. Bacteria can cause human diseases. Bogs. Swampy areas where special mosses grow, the plants make the area a tough place for bacteria to live. Tomb, a grave, room, or building for holding a dead body. Mummify, to treat a dead body so that it doesn't break down. Culture, a group of people who share beliefs and customs. The end.